G'day everyone, I'm Martin Freeney from Earthship Eco Homes and I'm super excited to share this new Earthship design with you. In a minute I'll take you for a virtual tour but first a quick explanation of this building. It's the evolution of my Earthship Iron Bank project which is Australia's first council approved Earthship and which has become a super popular Airbnb which is constantly booked out for months in advance year round. The new design is a tiny home or tiny ship called Earth B&B because it would make for a beautiful little B&B just like Earthship Iron Bank or it would be a lovely little home for a couple or a single person. But for me the most exciting thing about this new design is the bushfire resilience and I've also made it super quick and easy to build. The key to this design is extreme simplicity working with just two main construction methods for the structure of the building earth sheltered tire walls and a green roof. A green roof is typically covered in earth so plants can grow on it and they are known to be very fire resistant. The earth bermed main wall of the building is made up of about 400 earth filled tires which you can see here in blue. Now don't worry the tires won't burn because they are surrounded by the earth berm which is about 100 tons of earth piled around the rear of the building. And where the tire wall is not covered by the earth berm the tires are covered with cement based render so you will never see the tires and they will not be exposed to fire. Buildings with an earth berm are known as earth sheltered homes and this is an ideal method for bushfire prone areas because guess what a very thick layer of earth is practically unbeatable for protecting a home from the radiant heat and ember attack of a bushfire. The earth berm is also what we call a thermal battery that stores energy and keeps you cool or cozy year round without the need for heating and air conditioning. The earth sheltering also has other advantages such as insulation from outside noises and it also makes the building very resilient against cyclones. The green roof is curved in an arch shape which gives it great strength and beauty and it has an innovative gravel gutter and gravel layer under the grass which drains water into an underground rainwater tank. There are no conventional gutters and no conventional roof which is where bushfire embers often get into a building and set it alight. So we tried this concept at Earthship Iron Bank and the gravel covered roof has been a great success in terms of filtering rainwater and because gravel is non-flammable it is impossible for the gravel roof to burn. Because the rainwater tank is underground it also is protected from a bushfire and therefore you have water available to spray on the front face of the building which is the only part of the building that is vulnerable. The whole building will be soaked with water. Even if the sprinkler system fails for some reason this building is surrounded by non-flammable earth so it still has great odds of surviving the fire front because of the earth shell of design and green roof. We can add fire shutters to the windows for extra protection too. The Earthship sunroom or greenhouse acts as what I call a wet zone, which is essentially a room designed to get soaked by indoor sprinklers. If somehow the double glazed toughened glass windows and doors are smashed and the fire enters the building, these sprinklers will activate automatically. Now keep in mind that the main purpose of the sunroom or the greenhouse is to provide heat in the winter and air movement through the earth tubes during summer. Immense beauty from all the plants, a place to grow food year round, a place to irrigate with grey water, oxygen for you to breathe and of course it's also a corridor. And please remember this is an earth ship so it's fully self-sufficient in power, water and sewage treatment and you can of course grow bananas with the grey water from your shower. So this building is ideal to go off grid or if the grid is nearby you can export energy and earn some passive income and make the grid greener. I should mention that this design can be scaled up to create a family home and I'll release a video on that soon but I'm starting with this small tiny ship in the hope that it is more accessible to more people. The construction cost of the Earth B&B is estimated at about $129,000. Okay, so it's time for our little virtual walk through the building. And by the way, there's a web version of this tour available at earthshipecohomes.com.au forward slash 
Earth B and B so that you can take your own tour. Let's go. All right, now strap in folks because this can be a bit of a bumpy ride sometimes. By double clicking, you can kind of teleport. Um, space bar changes between walking and flying mode. Okay, so now we're walking. All right, here you can see the earth tube inlet, frog pond. Um, part of the idea of this is that you can have um, evaporative cooling so the air going up your earth tubes is cooler. Up we go. So there's outdoor seating up here. There's an outdoor bathtub. Down this end we have solar panels and there's a little uh, battery cupboard in here. Um, one idea I have is that these panels could actually be quickly removed and put inside the building during a bushfire. All right, let's zoom down the other end of the building. And um, down this end, we have uh, the solar hot water service. Um, there's a little uh, pump box here with filters and the pump and all the valves and whatnot to control the water. Um, this little frog pond out here uh, the idea of this is to bounce the winter sun deep into the building. I'm really excited to try that idea out. And then here, uh, we've just entered the sunroom or the greenhouse. Okay, this is your beautiful indoor garden that treats grey water. Down here we have the toilet um, and shower. Um, I'll let you explore that for yourself. And in here we have the bedroom. Uh, it's really the everything room. It's got a little breakfast bar here. Um, there's a walk-in robe behind that bottle wall. Um, and uh, perhaps we'll just have a quick peep in there. Well, I've gone inside a wall there. Careful of that, folks. Um, and then, yeah, this is the um, uh, like a little miniature cellar um, where the earth tubes come in. So I can go down into that. And boom, look, there's a bottle of wine in there. There are the earth tubes that bring in the lovely cool air. And then we can regulate the airflow through the grills in that um, little timber, timber floor. There's a little hole in the wall there so you can look through. And, and uh, folks, I think I'll, I'll leave it there. Enjoy exploring Earth B&B. Over and out. Thanks, folks. Bye.